Okay, tonight I have decided to bring back one of the tougher challenge workouts. And that is the one hour double long cycle marathon. of a session. I'm not sure that I can't get through an hour of that. Look, you know, not to brag, but like, I look pretty damn good in jeans when I get decent jeans. Just saying. You know what? I'm gonna need shoes for this challenge. Let me pause the Tabata timer. The warm ups. Because. I forgot how slippery it gets out here. Mostly I've been in the attic. So luckily I got some Converse. Not that I like training in shoes, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, for real, I should not be wearing jeans, but, you know, I kind of just do whatever I want. Watch out, Blue. Blue. Either over there or over there. But get out of the way. Or you're going to get crumped. Converse are about the only shoes that I am okay to, to train in. They're about the only ones that I would even attempt it with. The weights, double 18s. I know this is not an hour straight. I'm not insane. It is me, Mom. When the best kettlebell people in the world barely get through 10 minutes with doubles, or, you know, like, 
how the fuck am I gonna do an hour? It's not happening. Decided to give peanut butter a shot again. I got an all natural organic peanut butter. Just peanuts and salt. And grind it up. Still fucking up. Sevens the whole way through. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I'll actually pull it off, but that is the goal. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I can't eat peanut butter anymore. There's a lot of food I can't eat. My form is a little shoddy, it seems. One, I don't ever train in shoes, and two, I haven't been doing this as often. I made, discovered I made more progress training more moderately. Who would have thought? Overtraining is real, and I was doing it. Loaded some of the peanut butter. Not good. You ever been crazy attracted to someone? Not just their looks, but like personality and all that shit. And then you're away from them for a while. And then you see them again and you're like, what the fuck did I ever see in that person? 
It's a weird feeling. I don't understand it. That's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, it's like, you see, when you're away from them for like a month, six weeks, whatever, um, you kind of realize how they manipulated you and led you on for years and then yelled at you and told you how problematic you were when you tried to address it, even though you would have done anything to that person. And then, when you did arrange to see other people, that person went out of their fucking way to sabotage you, so you couldn't. Yeah. I the reason I just cut a bunch of toxic people out of my life, and uh, I'm noticing the difference. So that's pretty neat. Took an axe below the other day, right in here, in sparring, and uh, I can't record that either. They don't want no fucking people with phones filming shit. But um, yeah, it's a little sore in the cartilage area. Luckily, you know, you spar with protected gear, but still. Anyway, yeah, um, you see that person again, and you're like, damn, you're kind of ugly. And I feel like it's because you separate yourself from the situation, and you start to see them for what they really are. <coughs> and their personality shines through. And that makes him seem ugly. This is my favorite lift. Every time I do this lift, even though the way I train it is incredibly punishing. This is my favorite lift. <coughs> B 
Beautiful flow. <sighs> Love it. But yeah, anyway, along with cutting out that person, I cut out that person's friends, who were uh, my friends too. Yeah, nah, they really weren't. So, all in all, I feel like the giant ass weight was removed. to like whine about it um more like as a lesson examine the uh, people in your lives and see if they actually are your friends and if they're not see if they're causing you strife like really think about it and if they are cut them out you'll feel much better Beautiful evening, by the way. About 5.30, sunset. You know, daylight savings time and all that shit. By the way, um, do not assume that everyone, like, don't absolve yourself of your faults in a particular social setting. 
you may be the problem. But if you've got 10 other people who know the situation, You got ten other people in the in the situation who you haven't said a word to about the personal situation between you and the other people. You're likely not at fault if those people all tell you that you're not at fault, including people who are related to the um, the party. That was purely me not being used to shoes. But anyway, yeah. There comes a point where you gotta boot yourself first. And I hate saying that because it sounds like something on Reddit, but after a point, it is true. Just kind of some thoughts I've been working on. catching wide now because trying to go that pressure over here where I got hit it ain't feeling very good it's really messing with my breathing so wide catch more of a hard style clean
I have no idea how far along I am. About 23 rounds in. We're not even halfway. Beautiful. It's not that I'm tired, cardio speaking. It's um physically, it's kind of worn out. Like I said, the shoulders, fatigue from all the sparring yesterday. I took a nasty hit. That's hurting me. My stomach's messed up because I deviated from my diet. But I had to do something. I felt like shit. So it had to be hard. Yeah, right now. That's the hard part. If you want to, some type of training for combat sports, long cycle months, or you do three to five minute rounds, non-stop, rest two minutes, 
Stupid. This was a borderline impossible challenge when I did this all the time. And now I'm injured and I haven't done it in a while. I shouldn't say injured, but like in some pain. In a way that compromises my breathing. Just trying to check how many rounds I done. Okay, I done twenty nine. That was the 29th round. I'm gonna do one more. Cap it at 30 for 210. I don't know why I thought I could get an hour in my current condition. But, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. Very sorry. Ow. My eyes burn real bad right now. Sweat. Hey guys. I think 30 rounds is my limit for right now. Which sucks because there's only double 18s, 28 pounds. I had gotten up to 30 minutes at 8 with double 20s, which is 240 reps. But um, in all honesty, the improvement to my physical strength. Um, the alleviation of most of my body pain through the knees and the ankles 
and the forearms. I kind of, even though my conditioning is maybe a little bit worse on the EMOM work, um, because I was going higher rep sets, it's better in that regard. And yeah, they use different energy systems with different training schemes. Um, the double cleaning jerk probably shouldn't be trained more than twice a week. If, if one, if not, you know, just once a week. Um, like the difference in my knee, since I stopped doing this regularly, that's fantastic. I can squat now, nice. My physical strength is up. I've lost weight despite eating like a monster. And I have not eaten like a monster out of hunger. I've eaten like a monster due to a near complete loss of appetite. Like I'll eat a bit of food and um, I, I'm, I'm stuffed. Like I have no desire to eat. So I've been kind of force feeding myself because I didn't want to get like, I didn't want to lose all the progress I made even though I got a little fluffier than I was. I put on a lot of muscle. I checked my body fat and um, I'm in my weight too. I'm 209 pounds at the moment, 20% body fat. Two years ago, two and a half years ago now, before I started you know, trying to put on weight, I was 180, 185 pounds, 188 pounds, somewhere around there, and 19% uh, body fat. So I gained 30 pounds and my body fat was up to like 25-ish percent. But now, gradually, eating normally, I'm less than I shit myself. Being sick to the point where I couldn't really eat as well, whatever. But training more intelligently with heavier kettlebells and doing more sensible routines and less overall work. I've been training every other day. Um, I'm 209 pounds, 20% body fat. So like, that's a pretty good gain. That's like 20 pounds of mostly lean mass. So that's what I netted through two and a half years of trying to get bigger. Um, so that's pretty cool. I actually feel like I accomplished something in that regard. Primarily with kettlebells. My gym time has been very intermittent over the past year, 13 months. Yeah, the past 13 months has been very hit and miss because I ran a solid eight week powerlifting program last autumn and I burnt the fuck out and my bench, as an example, went all the way down to like, like I could barely bench press 155 for a set of six. After that eight week period of like really hard, heavy duty powerlifting training. My deadlift, I dropped the deadlift at like week seven, no week six. I ran it for nine weeks. I dropped the deadlift at week six because um, I had made good progress every week, but I had uh, stalled out at 405. And um, like I got 405 for two, I couldn't go beyond that. And then um, I got to the point where I could barely pull 295. And I'm like, a couple weeks ago, I did 295 for a, like, you know, a set of 10, like what the hell? So, eh, burnout's real if you train really hard. Um, and obviously to be, you know, an elite, um, any type of barbell lifting, you, you gotta be on steroids. Don't listen to your uh, favorite so-called natural lifters on YouTube, because most of them aren't natural, I guarantee you. Bodybuilder, certainly not the power lifters. Um, some power lifters, they're natural. I think a good total for a natural say like a deadlift from what I've seen is around 750 pounds um, it might be a little heavier if you go sumo some people can pull more sumo I can't pull sumo at all it throws me off I gotta go conventional but yeah so don't get too caught up in the specifics of that just do uh, training with a performance goal that's why I like to do training with a performance goal in mind because that's just the best way to do it, I think. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, 210 reps of clean and jerk or long cycle. Um, 
It is two exercises of movement. So it's 210 planes and 210 jerks. That is a lot of work. I was hoping for the hour. That still uh, eludes me. Um, I think the most I got consecutively was 45 rounds with the 20s. Um, but I, I'm not, I didn't quit because I was fatigued from a cardio standpoint. I quit because breathing really started to hurt because I got whacked right in there. So, yeah, um, probably don't uh, spar with uh, blunted weapons or any weapons, really. You probably shouldn't do that without proper armor. Um, but I'm a dumbass. So. Okay. Even if it says blunt trainer. Those little swords, those fencing swords, those are okay. But don't, don't do it with, uh, with a five pound battle axe. Don't, don't do that. Trust me. Peace.